When it comes to weighing and logging your food, I'm gonna show you how to use the scale. I'm gonna show you how to use a fork or a spoon, whatever it is that you choose to use, how you're gonna be able to weigh your food and also your sauces. And then I'm gonna show you how to track into MyFitnessPal. So the tools that you're gonna need is in MyFitnessPal. You're gonna make sure that that's all set up onto your phone. And we're gonna go ahead and start to register your food prior to actually making it. So we're gonna open up your MyFitnessPal. And then you're gonna to go to tomorrow because we wanna be able to see your meal plan today that's pre-planned for tomorrow. When you pre-plan your food, it's like having a game plan already set in place. So when it comes time to eating, you don't have to do any guessing work. You don't need to do any tracking. You do maybe some small changes if need be, but otherwise everything is already into your MyFitnessPal. So we're gonna go into tomorrow. We're gonna hit add food and then you're gonna do your search. So you can do a search by one of two ways. The easy way is if you just scan the barcode. Okay, and most of the time, if it's verified, it's gonna have the green check mark at the top, and it's gonna say that this is actually what it is, and it's verified, and you can go in here and you can just track it however you want. So I generally like to measure everything in grams, it's more specific than if in cups, because sometimes when you fill the cup to the top, it could be over grams, or if you don't fill it fully to the top, then it might be under grams. So when I put it onto the scale, it's gonna give me the exact number of grams that we're consuming. So I change the serving to one gram. Now, one serving of egg whites is one third. I usually like to do 200 grams of egg whites, which you'll see here is gonna give me 22 grams of protein. So then I'm just gonna to go to the top. I'm gonna to hit the check mark. Now that's plugged in. Now I need to be able to cook the egg whites and you can't just cook food on, with just straight up on the pan. So I like a little bit of coconut oil. So again, I'm going to scan the coconut oil and it should pop up, there it is. So right now it's measuring at one tea teaspoon, so uh, I'm just gonna have to go with that. But I don't like the teaspoon because it's too inconsistent, so I'm actually just gonna go back and I'm gonna look up free look coconut oil, so there it is. And my serving, I usually like to do about five grams, okay? So coconut oil is still verified, that's five grams right there, done. Then in my egg whites, I like a little sriracha. So the sriracha, I know if I scan it, it's actually not going to pull up because they just don't have it saved in my fitness pal. See, so there's no match found. So what I'm gonna do is type in the name Sriracha Sauce or Sriracha and then it's, again, it's one tablespoon or I'm gonna go into grams and change that to five grams, okay? So very little calories. So now I enter it. Now when I go back, it's gonna show my food for the day. So I got my egg whites, I got the coconut oil, and I got the sriracha sauce. I can click on the top here, it's gonna show me my macros for the day, so obviously this is the first meal. I'm far from hitting my target for the day, but at least it's entered. Now it comes time to prepping the food. Now when it comes time to prepping the food, so some of the things that you're gonna need is the measuring scale, and all scales are just a little bit different, but you wanna get a scale that reads in ounces, but it also reads in grams, okay? Now turning on a scale, they all have an on-on button. And you wanna make sure that the scale is on a level surface because if it's uneven, it's not gonna be able to read your measurements properly. So right now you can see that it's programmed at zero grams. If I wanna switch to ounces, there it switches over to ounces, this, but this scale has that feature. Now you're gonna see, I'm gonna need something that I'm going to uh, weigh in. So this, this cup weighs 42 grams. Now this spoon I'm gonna to use to get my coconut oil out combined, they're 71 grams. And instead of you having to do the math, all you're gonna do is each of these scales should have a reset button. So there you can see it reset it to zero grams. Now what am I looking for? Five grams, okay? So I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna weigh this out, okay? So I can just put this right back on here. So right now it's at one gram, right? So even if I just, yeah, it's not gonna bounce. But I can go in here, grab a little bit more, right? And then just put it on top. So we're at three grams, and it doesn't have to be super specific, but it does definitely help. So there I'm at four, I can do a little bit more, and then I'd be at five grams, okay? So let's just go with that. There you go. So what I would do is I would take this, and then I would, that means that I've actually tracked, or I actually have five grams in the spoon, so that's gonna be used for the oil for cooking my egg whites. Now, when it comes to measuring out the rest of your food, it's pretty much all the same. So I wanna keep this on here, on this container on here, because 
this is what I'm going to put the egg whites in. Just want to reset it down to zero grams. I take my egg whites and then all I do is I can actually lift the cup off if I want so it doesn't get messy. Put it in here, see where that's at. So 130 grams, you see what I mean? Like you don't want to just go by the cups because you could be cheaping yourself and you're not getting your food. So there you go. So to me, that's close enough. I can take some out. I won't. I'll just retrack it in my fitness pal as 207 grams. Okay. Now, when it comes to measuring your sauces, you would just do the same. So I would pour this out, I would rinse it out, and I would dry it, and then I would just put this back on here or put it onto the spoon, remeasure the spoon, put it down to zero, and then I would just put the sriracha sauce in the spoon so that when the egg whites are cooked, then I would just smear the sriracha sauce on top, and that would be a perfect measurement. So there you have it, guys. The simplest and easiest way to pre-track your food, to weigh your food using the food scale, measuring cups, and even tablespoons. So there you have it. You should be able to have that precise number so that you're hitting your calories and you're hitting your macros when it comes to using MyFitnessPal.